Hello everybody and welcome to something that's a little bit special in the history of portable laptop computing and something that's incredibly rare. This is actually the only one I've ever seen and if you look up on the internet uh, you can see reviews of when this first came out but you can't find videos on it apart from the ones on my channel. Uh, this is the world's first 3D laptop. I'm not on about the technology that they currently use in TVs where you have to use glasses if you're watching this, uh, you know, recently. If you're watching this in the far future, that may be commonplace. But for now, you have to use glasses. This laptop, which came out in 2004, uses 3D without glasses. Yes, no need for glasses here. Glasses are banished. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm introducing you to the Sharp PC RD 3D, which sounds a bit like R2D2. But there we go. Yes, this is an incredibly rare laptop for several reasons, which we will meet as we go around. But let's have a look at it first. And first thing you see is the size of this bugger. It's massive. This is a DVD case, obviously. And uh, yeah, it's quite large. And with the size comes the weight. It weighs about the same as the moon. I am not joking. I think I can see the moon orbiting around this thing. Anywho, this came at quite a price. $3,300. Yep. But you did get a lot of your money. Uh, we'll open it up in a moment, but let's have, first of all have a look around the outside. Now, first of all, you get every smart media sort of card thing under the sun, even this thing, which I have no idea what that is. You get this one, this one, this one. Can I push that in tight away? Yeah. This one, this one, this one. Look at the names, but they're inside. Uh, you've got PCM CIA, which handily came with a wireless card, which is very useful. We put that back safely back in. Get in there. Anyway, Floppy disk drive, uh, this is 2004. You've got IEE on 1394 connector, something I've never used. Uh, microphone connector, headphone connector, uh, USB, keyboard lock. Oh, on the back, more USB. Yep, you certainly got your money's worth. More USB, network connector, uh, I've got the lowers, uh, S video. Monitor out, whatever the book. Oh, it's power, sorry, power. And luckily, this did come with its power adapter because it's rather unique. Uh, on the far side, god, this weighs a ton. You've got your floppy disk drive, and I forgot what that is. It doesn't come out. No, nope. not gonna force it, but it's not the hard drive, so there we go. And underneath, you've got your. <sighs> Usual amount of vents, that doesn't work so bugger off. Uh, you've got your usual amount of vents, hard drive, memory and other little bits. Uh, it does weigh, as stated, a sodding ton. Pentium 4 processor this one's on, which oh, when I started up you will hear and it's one of its weaknesses. Uh, came with a minimum of 512 megabytes of memory going up to one gigabyte maximum 64 megabytes of video memory and let's stop teasing you and open this bugger up yeah I'm going to have to alter the camera I'll be right back right it comes with this 15 uh, I think it's 15 and a half inch TFT monitor which is actually two monitors uh, two monitors front layer is your normal color monitor and behind it is a monochrome monitor which you switch on using this button and that gives you your glassesless 3D effect. Let's have a, take the camera off so you can have a closer look at the buttons here. Ta -da. Right, so you've got all your indicators for wireless, battery and power and there's your power button. 
that's your 3D button which you'll see lit up in a minute and all your status buttons and the keyboard which has had some use but it's it's not a bad keyboard it's got good feel mouse button uh, sorry trackpad and mouse which on this one is uh, in good very good condition even the stickers are in good condition there we go Pentium 4 designed for Windows XP there we go now when I found this one it didn't have a hard drive it did it, it did come with a 60 gigabyte hard drive but I've only managed, eventually, hmm, to find a 10 gigabyte one. So that's what's in this now. So, what's left to do? Fire it up and have a look at this thing going. Right, here we go, a bit closer up so you can see the beauty of its screen. This is the, obviously, the normal XP desktop. Uh, there's nothing special about it, it's just... An XP desktop, what you want. It came with uh, XP Pro, this one's just fitted with normal XP. Uh, but what we're going to do, fire up some Return to Castle Wolfenstein. And uh, then we'll uh, have a look at it in the 3D mode. Come back to the desktop and have a look at a few things there in the 3D mode. So, it's going to take a few minutes to uh, fire up Castle Wolfenstein. So, We'll be right back in a moment. Yeah, I think that's the sound uh, the average person made when they saw the bill for buying one of these things. Definitely uh, more aimed at industry. Uh, okay, now this is without the 3D switched on and we can just wander around in Castle Wolfenstein here. Uh, now obviously when I switch the 3D on, you're not going to see it on that screen, but you can see that the feature is there. Now, okay, so we're going around and shoot things and swing up and down these corridors. It's a very good game, this. It runs very well on this. Uh, if I cut the sound for a second, you will hear... I don't know if you can hear that, but... Hang on. Just let me... Yeah, that's uh, one of the disadvantages of Pentium 4. They run very hot. And when in use, this thing runs almost constantly with its fans. So that was one of the big downsides of it. The noise and heat coming from the bugger. So, uh, right. Okay, so if I bring up the volume again. Uh, we'll get this one. Oh, shooting! Stop shooting! No, oh, you just do that to shoot, can you? No? Ah, okay. Right, let's uh, bring this down here. I'm lost. That's where we started. Okay, let's put this into uh, th somewhere a little bit brighter. There we go. How's that in the camera? Alright, I will put this into 3D mode and let's see how it looks on the camera. Ha! Yeah, a little bit darker. And that's about all you get in the camera. Let's just switch that off again. Yeah, that's all you're going to see. Let's see if we can go a little bit closer. See if that makes any difference. No, obviously not going to be 3D, but you might see some. There you go, you can see the screen change. And to me, you're getting a little bit of extra depth, but yeah, uh, you don't see much of the supposed 3D effect. What you do get, if I just bring it off the stand again. This is without the 3D. So, this is the screen without the 3D. Just get my... Monitor here, so let's see what you can see. There we go. That's the screen without the 3D. So if I press the little 3D button here, you get this bar at the bottom. Now that rainbow effect is purely for the camera. From the camera, you don't see that in real life. Uh, and if I can get as close as I can to it, right, when I press 3D, you see that, uh, yeah spectrum sort of effect. There are lines running down the screen uh, from the back monitor and it does create these slides. So you've got to find, if you're going to use this, you can see the AI yeah, you can see that. I can actually see that in real life if I move my head. That uh, sort of light and dark bars is there in reality. Uh, if I switch the 3D off, you see that line disappears and so does that effect. Come, there's the effect again. Um, 
it does have some sort of 3D effect, but I can't see it myself. Apparently, uh, it can take a couple of hours for the mind to adjust to be able to see this. Sorry to get in front of you, I'm just trying to get the sweet spot. So that's the 3D screen itself. Uh, if I switch it off, go back to normal, and there's normal. Now apparently there was software developed for this uh, to show pictures in 3D. Uh, I can't find any of this software. Fortunately Sharp do have all the original drivers on their website, but none of this original software. So if anybody does have access to that software, or knows where I can get it, please let me know. Then I can uh, I can demonstrate that for you, although obviously it's not going to work on here too well. Uh, let's just go to the normal screen and have a look at that working. Be right back. Right, here's the uh, browser. Uh, so I've not found. All right, it's trying, still trying to log in. It's having trouble today trying to log on, which is a pain in the ass. So normally it can log on, but not having it today. Okay, XP for you in it. So, yeah, there's the normal desktop. Uh, if I just put something up to uh, to show. This is a basic... Uh, oh, there go, the fans took it down. And the drive's kicked in. Okay. If I just show something up, and um, we'll switch it to 3D just to show you what it looks like on the camera, because <laughs> it's not 3D on there, obviously. So... There's normal desktop, uh, if I go 3D. See the striping, just wobble the camera. Yeah, there's the striping. And the same's gonna happen if I show you a picture. So you are gonna have to show this, see this in real life to see the true effect. This obviously doesn't work. But you can see how it works there with the, there you go, there's the lines running through. For the two monitors on that lower thing. I don't know why that appears. It does it all the time, but there we go. That is that. So, yeah, this is one I can't demonstrate on the camera. You are going to have to see this in real life. Now, there is one thing left to show you with these things because uh, I just switch it off. Now, as I said, this is an in. Incredibly rare machine. This is the only example I've ever seen in real life and Apart from the reviews on the internet from when it was out. This is the only one I know of on the internet So that makes it incredibly rare, but What makes this There we go Just my camera so I can see what you can see. Got funny colors now. All right what makes this even more incredibly rare <coughs> I have two of them and yes they do both work <laughs> that one doesn't have a hard drive in but when you put the hard drive in it works fine and yes they both have that rainbow effect at the bottom of the screen so it isn't fault in that they're both doing it so there we go, that is the Sharp PC R2D2, whatever you want to call it, what's it properly called. Uh, just find a, um, just find it, come here, there we go, oh, RD3D, I find that so hard to, to say for some strange reason. The Sharp RD3D, the world's first glassless true 3D laptop, an incredibly rare find. And I found these in the skip complete with both of their adapters. So that was a good day and a good rescue. I may be taking these on the uh, the show circuit uh, to show 3D gaming. We shall see. So, if you like this video and you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. Please like. It does do us good. And comment below if you've had any experience with these or you know of some software for these. And uh, my social media links are in the description below. Oh, better picture now. So, there you go. Pleasure showing you these. Thank you all very 
March. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. 